Welcome to my channel. Enjoy cooking with Al. I'm glad you're able to join me today. Today, we're going to be making salmon cakes or salmon patties. These are the ingredients that we're going to use. I have already prepared. As you can see, we have our salmon. Three cans of salmon we're using today. I have already nicely removed the bone and the silver skin. For more details on the ingredients, you can go below my video and look at the description. Everything is there. Okay guys, let's get started. Okay, let's begin. I just want you to know I have already added a little bit of oil to my pan. We're going to saute our vegetables. Okay, let me just hit a nice little flavor of some butter here. Let that melt nicely. Oh, it's popping a little bit. You just tip your pan away from you. Okay? No problem. Must be a little water in there. Not a problem. Okay? Always turn your heat off. If it's popping a lot, turn your fire off. Okay? In this case, we got it under control. So let's get back to what we were doing. We're going to saute our onion. Okay? Get that all in there. We're going to saute our green pepper. Look at that. Our red pepper. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. And our carrots. Yes, it's all our vegetables. And of course, some nice garlic that has been minced. Okay, let's get that all in there. I don't want to leave anything behind. Let's just cook this down nicely, okay? That's what we want to do. We want to release all of the flavors. And we'll be back. I'll show you exactly how it's supposed to look. Give this a good add five, three to five minutes at a medium temperature, okay? Till it shrinks. I'll let you see what we're looking for, okay? Let's let that cook. Okay, as you can see, this is what I want. It's nicely sauteed. Take a look at this wonderful aroma. This smells great. The onions, everything has been sauteed together. Oh, this smells delicious. Now keep in mind, we want to put this aside to cool off. We do not want to mix it hot. Okay, this is great. This is what we want. It's chopped up nicely. Now we're gonna add our sauteed vegetables, which has been cooled. I put it in the freezer real quick. You can touch it and it's very nice and cool. So I'm just gonna add this in. Okay, I'm just gonna add this in, get it all in there. All right. Perfect. Okay, that's it. Now, the reason why you want to cool is because when you add the egg, you don't want to cook your egg, okay? Now we're going to add our salt and pepper, okay? We're going to add our garlic powder, okay? We're going to add our onion powder, okay? And now we're going to add our egg, okay? Now we're going to mix all that up. Just combine all that together. Look at the wonderful colors. That's what you want. That's looking really nice. Oh, it smells delicious. I'm going to combine, that, combine all that together nicely. Okay. That's what you want. Now, I'm gonna add my breadcrumbs because I wanna dry this out. I don't want it to be too wet, okay? So let's mix this in and this breadcrumbs is gonna absorb the moisture. So I'm looking to see how much moisture my breadcrumbs is going to absorb. This way I know how much breadcrumbs to add. It helps. So I need to bind it and make our nice patties. Just a little more breadcrumbs. That looks great. That looks great. Just gonna mix all that in there. See how it's tightening up? That's what you want. That is wonderful. The moisture 
it's being absorbed. All those nice flavors are being absorbed. See how it's tightening up? So when you make your patties, it'll hold its shape nicely, okay? All right, guys. Okay, guys, I took a tablespoon of the salmon cake as a test, okay? This is one tablespoon. Let's give it a test to make sure that this is the flavor that we want, okay? All right, guys, I did the sample. The sample was delicious. So now we're gonna make a patty. I don't need to add anything to it because the flavors is just where I want it. Okay, this is what we want. We're gonna use a third of a cup, okay? This is give us a nice portion that we need for the patty. I'm just gonna knock it and it's come right out, okay? Now we're gonna take it over to the flour. I'm gonna place it in the flour and just kind of put a little flour on it, which keeps it sticking from sticking from our to our hands, okay? So I'm just gonna flour it up nicely, okay? Don't be shy. You can knock the flour, any excess flour, you just knock it off. Not a problem, okay? Now we're gonna start to shape it. I'm gonna press it down. If you can see, I'm just gonna use my thumb. I'm trying to get it tightened together, okay? So I'm pressing it down, and I'm also doing circular motions. All right, take your time, no problem. Do it a couple of times. A little more flour if you need it. Just shake it nicely, okay? Let's get the shape. Excess flour I'm knocking off, and now I'm just gonna try to tighten it in, okay? Let's see how that goes. Perfect, get the sides nicely. Look at that, it's tightening up nicely, okay? Just press it down, because you want to cook evenly, okay? Now I had already made a few batches, all right? Let's just tighten this in, that looks great. All right, you just want to seal it, seal it nicely. Don't have to be perfect, okay? Just make it nice for yourself. Now I had already made a few batches, so let me just put it with the rest of my batches that I made earlier. All right, perfect, you see? That's all. All right, now we're gonna take these and fry these off real nicely, okay? Okay, here we have some extra. I already made what I wanted, so what I'm gonna do, because I like to have a fresh batch each time I make it, cause you know, it doesn't stay good after you fry it over the next day, so I would recommend you just make what you want like I did, and then put the rest of it away nicely in the refrigerator, okay? Pack it nicely. Okay, you want your oil to be at a medium temperature, and now we're gonna fry our salmon cakes or salmon patties. Let's just put them in there so lightly. There we go, that's what we want, beautiful. We want to brown up on both sides, that's wonderful. That looks great. Let's get them all in there nicely. Okay, that's looking great. Get that in there. All right, I'll do four at a time. Okay, we'll let that brown on both sides nicely. And that's what you want. You see these bubbles? That's the temperature you want. And you want it to be consistent and steady. So don't turn your temperature down. Let it stay just like this. Once it browns, you flip it over, and we're gonna do the other side. Okay, look at this. This is the color I want. I flipped them over, look at that. That's what we want, okay? Three to five minutes, okay? Again, your, your oil must be hot as you see. And we're almost done. This is looking great. Okay, just turn them lightly, just so that you can see both sides, okay? Just wanna turn them lightly, look at that. That's looking great. Okay, these are almost ready to come out, okay? This is what you want. I'm gonna start taking this one out. This looks great. And we're gonna let it just drain nicely. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna put them on our plate. Just let them drain nicely, look at that, that's perfect. Just let them drain nicely, perfect. That's it, guys, that's it. That's looking great. Flip that over, no problem. Okay guys, we can just make a quick dressing for the tartar, which is tartar sauce for the salmon cakes or salmon patties, okay? You just get your mayonnaise and your relish, okay? And you just mix that up. I'm telling you, this is how you make a simple tartar sauce, okay? You just blend it in nicely. Okay, that's what we want to do, just blend it in nicely. 
Look how easy this was. Golden brown salmon cakes or salmon patties. A quick tartar sauce I just put together. It goes nicely with the salmon cakes or salmon patties. It's delicious. Look how easy it is to make this. We just did it. Thanks guys for watching. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below and I would love to hear from you. Feel free to leave your comments. Until next time, 